welcome back! For today, the recipe we are going to recreate is by Inspired Taste. And we are going to make... Focaccia. Focaccia. Argument aside, and regardless of how we say it, no one can deny how delicious and versatile focaccia is. This flatbread may be served as an antipasto, table bread, or as a snack. Today we are making a yummy focaccia al rosmarino, which according to Inspired Taste, allegedly is easy to make. The link to the full recipe of Adam and Joanne will be in the description box below. The ingredients required are most likely already in your pantry, which is a win in my book. There's no need for you to shop, and it's all very basic. So let's get started. We begin with the extra virgin olive oil, minced garlic, and fresh herbs of your choice. Personally, I love rosemary, but you may use a combination of fresh and dry Italian herbs, such as thyme and oregano. Combine everything in a cold skillet and set on low heat. Cook until aromatic but before the garlic browns. Set the mixture aside and let it cool. We then get our lukewarm water, making sure it doesn't go beyond 115 degrees Fahrenheit to not kill the yeast. Add the yeast and honey, or if you don't have honey, you can just use sugar. Stir for a few times and let it bloom. Scoop 2.5 cups or 315 grams of all-purpose flour. Also, don't forget to level just to make sure that you get the accurate amount. Combine the yeast mixture, 1 cup of flour, and about 1 fourth cup of the cooled down infused rosemary garlic olive oil. Geez, that's a mouthful. Stir and let sit for another 5 minutes. Add the remaining flour and salt. Once the dough comes together, transfer to a floured surface and knead for about 10-15 to 15 times until smooth. This is so great! After the sticky dough and the kneading issues with my pandasal, I thought I'll only be making bread once a year. But this dough made me love bread making. Plus the rosemary and olive oil smell is divine and made me so hungry. Divine talaga? Transfer the dough to a large oiled bowl and cover with a warm damp towel. Let it rise in a warm area of your kitchen for about an hour or until it doubles in size. You may now preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Use about 2 tablespoons of the infused olive oil mixture to grease a 9 by 13 inch rimmed baking sheet. Transfer the dough then press it down into the pan. Gently stretch the dough and be careful not to tear it. Use your fingers to create indentations, like giving it a massage. These are important if you want flavorful focaccia. A feature on Genovese focaccia is what inspired me to search for this recipe. Drizzle and spread the remaining infused olive oil mixture and spread it all over. The small pockets will hold the olive oil while baking, and this will make your focaccia bread really flavorful. 
I couldn't resist giving this dough another massage just because it's so squishy. According to the recipe, we shall let the dough rise for another 20 minutes to let it puff slightly before baking. Allora, after second proofing, place in the oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. And then we're done! Cool baked focaccia on a wire rack for as long as you can resist. It only lasted like a minute for me. The focaccia developed a crunchy crust, but it was still soft inside. I would have loved it more if it was fluffier and had more air pockets. It could be because of the kneading, proofing time, or my technique that made it flatter than I wanted to. If you do have any ideas, or you've already tried making focaccia, or you are Italian, I'd appreciate your advice. However, because of the amazing flavor and considering it wasn't difficult to make, I will not hesitate using the same recipe and experiment. You may add cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, or olives to make it your own. I recommend that you try this recipe of inspired taste and let me know in the comment section or tag me on Instagram on how it goes. I'd go so far as to say, for my first focaccia, it's molto bene. I hope we inspired you to try something new today. Thanks for stopping by! Talk soon!